All right, boys and girls, here we go again. This is Steve Bedell, your EXP Realtor, coming to you from the Villages, Florida. And I know we talk about a lot of serious subjects. Uh, a lot of the time, like how much homes are selling for, if they're going up, they're going down, <coughs> interest rates, um, all kinds of things. Hey, we're going to have a little fun today. So, here's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Today, we're going to talk to you about the roundabout. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I put at the beginning one of these so you can see real well what's going on. That's my version of it right there. So you might see why I did that. Whoops. <laughs> okay, we'll let that go. And then we're going to go. And I'm going to talk to you about this today, which is how to make a turn in the villages. So when you come down to the villages to visit me, to come look at houses, you got to know just what's going on. You got a rental car, you got to have roundabouts. Now roundabouts, uh, some people hate them, they talk about them, but I got to tell you, they are wonderful because Buena Vista, from the south end of it to the north end of it, that's one of the longest roads here in the villages, it's, I don't know, 10 miles, and I think they have 18 roundabouts. Now, I want you to imagine if you had 18 stoplights to keep going through all the time. You would be blowing your hair out, your brains out, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But you'd be going crazy going through all of those stoplights. With the roundabouts, there's no stopping. You go right through and you go up the next one. But here's where people have an issue with them. They don't navigate them correctly. That's one thing, or you gotta watch out for other people who don't navigate them correctly. So today, I'm gonna take it upon myself to give you roundabout 101 lesson on how to drive through these things. Because I come from New Hampshire, and I come from Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and guess what? The Portsmouth Traffic Circle, we have a roundabout. But it's the Portsmouth Traffic Circle, there are very few where I'm from, and it's a landmark because it's right almost at the intersection between Maine. You just go right over into Maine and the southern part on the seacoast and it's not too far to go to Massachusetts and the other direction. So it's kind of a well-known uh, point of interest, landmark. Uh, everybody knows about the Portsmouth traffic circle. But here, it's called roundabouts. So here you go. Let's see how we navigate these things. All right. And uh, I spared no expense on visual aids. So here we go. All right. Here's you in your car. This is a train from some train, toy set. I don't know what it's from, but this is our car. So, number one, let's see how you make a right turn when you're going into the traffic circle. Here's how. You see this? This is junk in the middle. They're divided roads, okay? You got a left, uh, right lane, left lane on both sides, okay? So you're driving and you want to make a right turn. You want to come up this road and take a right here. So here's what you do. You take your car, you come in, you make sure you are not in that left lane. Because if you're in this left lane and you come up here and you gotta cut across here, you are gonna be in big trouble. And people do that. This is why I say you gotta watch out for the other guy. That's the main thing in driving anyway defensively. Watch out for the other guy. So here you go. You're in the right hand lane. You got your car, you're going up, you hit a track, you hit your signal, your directional, and that's one thing in, in, uh, in the villages in particular, and Florida in general, I think they kind of have said, we don't need to use directional, we don't need to use blinkers here, because a lot of people don't. To be safe, use them, okay? So you come in here like this, you make sure you're on the right side of the road, you put your blinker on, you take a right side, you're still on the right side of the road, no problem. Lesson one, you did well. You did great. All right, that's, that's the easy one. Now, lesson two. Lesson two, you want to turn here, okay? Or you want to continue straight through. Here's how you do it. You can use the right lane and come up here. Remember, this is the inside. Come up here, stay in the outside lane, 
stay in the right hand lane there. So you're going to hook that, stay on the right the whole way. That's the safest way to do it because you have the less interference and you just hook on the side, you stay there. You can also go this way. You can stay on this side, stay on the left side, then stay inside here, and then break out there. Not there. Don't do that like everybody does. You stay in that side. You go right through. So if you're going straight through, you have two options. And here's why I say this is the safest option is to stay on the outside because a lot of times you're going to see some knucklehead come out of here and they're going to just come right out. If you're here, especially, and you got to cut across because you got a little more space here, so they think, hey, it's open, and they bang, you could get clobbered like that. So, a little confusing, but you got two, uh, two options when you're heading straight through the roundabout. And um, the reason I do, I mean, I, do I take the middle lane sometimes? Yeah, sure. Maybe there's a lane a mile long in here. Maybe there's a holdup. Maybe they're doing landscaping. Sure. But you can do that. But I suggest, if all else being equal, stay on that right hand side. Much safer. Now, now what are you going to do when you want to take a left turn? You want to come up here and you want to hit that road on the left. They've all got two lanes still. They're all divided. So you got to, here's what you do. This is really important. You cannot, do not get in this right lane at all. You must be in the left lane. Then you stay all the way. You come up here, you stay on the inside, not the outside, and then you come around here, and I would even suggest that you come out on the visitor side on the left. You're gonna meet a gate here most times, and you got residence entry and visitor's entry. Well, guess what? They're the same. The only difference is if it is a, a, um, a guard, and they're not really guards, but if the gate is attended, and you got a visitor, they'll just lift the gate up for you. It's easier than you reaching out and hitting the button. Villagers will just hold their card up or whatever and go through. But you're much safer to stay in here. Stay here. Don't not cutting across this lane. Can you do that? Yeah, but you're much safer doing this because they're always in a hurry to come out of here. And if you're here, you're closer to the knuckleheads that want to get out in a hurry. So come in the left lane, stay on the inside lane, come out on the left lane. That's the safest way to navigate them and get through that. And what if you want to make the only thing left is a U-turn, which is basically the same as we just did. Stay in the left lane, stay on the inside, stay on the inside here, and head right out this way. Now here, here, I'm going to tell you, you're better off to come out in this lane because you've got a lot of traffic heading here and coming right out like this. Same way you stayed away from that here, you're going to stay away from it here. So go around, head down on that on the left lane. Okay. Alright, that's roundabouts 101. So when you come down here, come down and see me now. Don't forget, you're going to know what to do in your rental car. And you villagers that live here, if you're looking this and you're looking for a new home, hey, pay attention to the rules. There's so many knuckleheads out there that don't navigate these properly. They're very safe if you use them right. You use your directionals and stay in the right lanes. None of this cut and lane stuff you see all the time. People taking shortcuts, they come up on this lane, then they cut across the middle, and they come out here. Don't do that. That's a recipe for a, an accident. Okay? So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. It's just kind of light this week. We're always giving, uh, talking about kind of heavy subjects. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, call me. Uh, email me. Any questions you have about real estate in the villages at all. Get in touch with me. I got a lot of things going this summer. We're heading into fall. What am I? Summer. It's September. It's almost October. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Till next time.